Hi there, we're looking to solve these simultaneous equations and work out a value of x and a value of y that can be substituted into both equations giving the correct answer. Um, so in order to do that we're going to attempt to solve these by elimination and to solve these by elimination we need to have either the same amount of x's or the same amount of y's. So we're going to have to adjust these equations. For this equation 1 and this equation 2. So if we wanted to cancel out the x's it would make sense to multiply either equation 1 or equation 2 or even both and it looks like 12x would be what we're aiming for. So if you were to do equation 1 times 2 uh, you would get 12x minus 4y equals 66 and then you'd also have to do equation 2 times 3 to give you 12x plus 9y and that would be equal to 27 and that's to allow us to eliminate x. I'm also going to show you how we go about eliminating y and I'm also going to spell it correctly as well. To eliminate y it looks like 6y is the most obvious course of action. So we just do equation 1 multiplied by 3 so that gives us 18x minus 6y and that would be equal to 99 and then for equation 2 we'd have to times that by 2 giving us 8x plus 6y and that's equal to 18 now in, a, in the first option where we eliminate x there's 12x and 12x, they're both positive so what you'll need to do is if I call this one 3 and this one 4 uh, I'll need to do equation 3 minus equation 4 so 12x minus 12x will cancel it, each other out minus 4y and then take away 9y leaves us with minus 13y and then I'll need to do 66 take away 27 well, 66 take away the 7 will be 59 and then take away a further 20 will be 39 and if we divide by minus 13 you'll notice that that goes in 3 times but it needs to be minus 3 so minus 13 times minus 3 would give us 39. So we've got y equals minus 3 and what we can do with that is we can put that back into one of the equations and probably the easiest one to pick would be equation number 2. So for that one if I substitute that back into 2 we'd have 4x plus 3 lots of minus 3 equals 9. So 4x minus 9 would be equal to 9. Adding on 9 to both sides, because now it's just basically a little linear equation to solve, we'd end up with 4x equals 18 and if we divide by 4 4 goes into 18 4 times with half of it left over so we've got our y and our x if I now go to the previous one so you don't need to do it both ways I'm just showing you both options so you understand more of the method behind simultaneous equations. If I chosen to eliminate y, you'll notice that there's a minus 6y and a positive 6y. So in this case, what we'd actually do with what I'd call equation 3 
and 4 is that for this one I'd actually add them which is slightly different to when I was eliminating x here because they were both positive amounts of x's so I took them away these are opposite signs so I add so that's going to give me 26x the y's will cancel out and I'll end up with 117 so what we're going to need to work out is how many times 26 goes into 117 funnily enough it's four and a half uh, four lots of 26 would be 104 and another half which is 13 takes up to 117 uh, just to check that that works with y as well if we sub that x equals 4.5 into again I'll choose equation 2 so we'll have 4 times 4.5 plus 3y is equal to 9 uh, 4 times 4.5 so that will end up being 18 plus 3y equals 9 take away 18 from both sides and then divide by 3 and in both those cases you'll see that we end up with the same solution. So whether you decide to eliminate x's or eliminate y's, in both cases we ended up with 4.5 and minus 3. I hope that was helpful to showing you how you can either add or subtract depending on what you're trying to eliminate. And how it obviously works in the same way. As long as you do the correct mathematics, you'll get the right answers.